I did want to ask you about the spending that's been going on under the Republicans. One trillion dollar deficits were hitting. What, uh, are you yeah, surprised? Yeah, I wish people were more concerned about those things. Uh, we've we've gone from now neither party really caring about the deficits anymore, and uh, I think that's uh, sort of a function. It, you know, I, I say this all the time that uh, Washington is a reflection of America. And frankly, most Americans don't care about the deficit. And so it's hard to rally political support uh, to con- be concerned about the, the, uh, the, the growth in government spending and the, uh, and the lack of fiscal accountability. So uh, in a sense, the American public is getting what they want, uh, but it's not necessarily what is best. And uh, you know, Republicans for a long time tried to fight this battle, but I think what, what they will tell you is there's no political constituency for it. And of course, if there's no political constituency for it and you make it a centerpiece of what you're about, you don't win very many elections. And so it's, a, it's, a, uh, uh, it's something that, again, I wish at least they would bring into the debate uh, that you know, ever-increasing size of government and ever-increasing uh, deficits are not good for, for everybody. Do you think if President Trump doesn't focus on it, uh, cutting government spending, it could actually hurt his standing among the conservative base who does care about reducing the size of government and cutting back? Yeah, I think conservatives care more about um, the absolute size of government than they do about deficits, although, again, uh, that's sort of a new phenomenon over the past uh, maybe decade. Um, Again, I don't uh, don't know that anything – is that, that that, given all the other things that the administration is doing, that that's going to be um, an area that the president's going to lose much support because of. I think he'd lose more support if he went in with an expansion of government spending as opposed to a deficit issue. How long do you think the U.S. has going on with a trillion-dollar deficit and a rising national debt over $22 trillion? How long do they have before there's some sort of financial meltdown or a turning point where they have to take A lot action? of that depends on interest rates. I mean, it's, if, if, you know, I think one of the reasons that President Trump was so <coughs> emphatic about interest rates going up was not just the impact on the economy, which was certainly there, but the impact on, on the deficit. Uh, you know, the... Uh, the amount of money that that it costs us to finance the debt, and and so as interest rates go up, the uh, the, the the financing of the debt becomes more and more untenable. So, uh, I mean, just a a turn of the Fed to uh, to a more aggressive rate uh, rate increases could spell real problems for uh, for our economy. 